Hello Internet, in this video I am gonna give you unboxing and review of Grain Arrow S9 wireless microphone. This microphone is available in two version, single transmitter and single receiver and dual transmitter and one receiver. For interview type of video you can buy the dual set and for solo YouTubers so I have bought this single version or single transmitter and single receiver. So here you can see the box content and there is nothing written about the MRP company claims 15 hours of recording time so we will test in real life so how much battery backup time is giving by this mic another good feature is that if you connect this mic via bluetooth with your mobile or laptop and if you play any audio like music or anything so you can hear that music particularly in the monitor mode via headphone so this feature helps the cover song like creator who record the cover song so they can listen the music via headphone and they can record the voice via the, via the mic so, and then they can mix it so that's a very very beautiful feature for the songs cover artist so in the box here you can see one receiver one transmitter is given there and lots of cable is given there this is wind shield or the dead cat is given there to reduce the you know air noise when you are recording outside there is the cable which is compatible with the iphone also given there 3.5 mm audio jack also given there and type c to type c cable is also given there and another cable which is given which is basically record you know charge this transmitter and receiver both at the same time when it is connected with the 5 volt 1 ampere power source basically the usb type a and there is also the user manual is given there and some warranty card is also given there and this is one thing is given there that very cheap quality but they are also given the three uh, headphones so that you can monitor the recording audio instantly so this is warranty card one year warranty given there but this is a very much fake i can say there is no service center or no one is responding via the email id mentioned in the warranty card so forget about the warranty for taking this like use and throw purpose you can take this product so here it is written 400 milliampere battery is given there 3.7 volt basically lithium ion battery and some mode is given there which color defines or which purpose everything is written there so to start that you have to press and hold two seconds and then some also volume button eco cancellation button everything is written there so here is the transmitter we where we can record the audio and there is the lavalier mic or small mic is there and on the side there is type c port is there this is used for the charging purpose and in the bottom one power button or you can mute that by single tap you can mute temporarily the audio recording and here in the receiver purpose two volume plus minus button is there and the side the monitor audio jack and type c cable is there and in the transmitter one echo button is there and also the monitor 3.5 mm jack remember this volume plus minus is only for the monitoring volume you cannot control your recording volume with this mic so now I'm gonna attach the wind shield here you can see just put it down and just singly just rotate clockwise and it will be locked and to open or remove it just rotate anti-clockwise so that's basically and the pouch is very good I must say the carrying pouch they have given so you can also carry some camera accessories batteries extra batteries you can carry with this pouch so this is, this is I can say a very good thing so now I'm gonna show you how you can connect it. So first of all, I'm gonna connect the 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm jack. Remember, this is also works with laptop having the 3.5 mm jack, or, or if you are having the Type C cable. If you are gonna connect via Type C cable via digital audio, so you have to buy a USB Type A to Type C converter for the desktop or other laptop where the Type C option is not there. So uh, you can connect also Windows, Linux, and MacBook. I have connected with the MacBook. So it works in all the devices, DSLR, mirrorless, Android mobile, Apple, iPhone, everywhere it works. So I have just connected the 3.5mm jack and then again 3.5mm to 2.5mm converter which comes with the this Fujifilm mirrorless camera. So after connecting, I am connecting the 2.5mm audio jack to the mic jack of the camera. And then I am attaching with the top, here you can see how I have attached that receiver and then it switched on and it is saying the mic is detected and clicking the mic 
and then click ok it depends upon your model of the camera then you can basically control the volume for this particular model at highest 4 means 100 percent level it works good so i am setting at 4 4 level of the audio recording so if you press and hold that button then it start green and green pairing icon is blinking so after that icon is blinking you have to press again in the transmitter and receiver both switched on and after both is switched on the blinking will be stable so that it is in the connected and pairing and it is ready to recording so in the blue mic icon you can see that's mean the noise cancellation by default is enabled if you want to disable the noise cancellation you have to press one the top echo button of the transmitter and to enable the echo mode you have to press and hold the echo button two second in the transmitter so here you can say i'm tapping in the transmitter or mic so it is responding here in the volume bar so that's mean my camera is now ready to record audio wirelessly via this Grenaro s9 wireless microphone so now let's talk about how we can connect with mobile here i am using the android mobile if your mobile is 3.5 mm jack or if your mobile have the type c cable you can easily connect type c to type c but if you have not and have the type c so for that you can convert it to type c to usb micro usb so that you can connect via digitally and you can also connect by the 3.5 mm audio speaker via the 3.5 mm to type c connector but i recommend you where the digital audio is possible use the digital audio because it records better so now i am going to record audio with this mic so i have connected with the android mobile so here you can see if i tap on the mic it will show you the waves when it is recording so yes this mic works very perfectly with android mobile make sure your camera recording app also supports the external audio recording like open camera app supports and camera to api enable when you are using open camera app so now let's talk about the charging so there is one cable is given there the type c cable to you can charge both the devices in the same single usb port or single usb charger but there is a bug so if you first switch up the charger from the electrical switch and then remove that usb port then what it will be the transmitter will be in a hang state it will not switch on so to overcome this what you have to do first you switch on your electrical board then you insert this usb port to the charger in the reverse way first remove the usb port from the charger then switch off the electrical switch so in this simply way you can bypass the bug as of now because it's a new company so some bug is there now i'm gonna open this particular mic and let's see what is inside so here inside you can see the small electrical circuit board is there and also there is some battery and led is there so audio processing circuit is given there basically microprocessor is given there so if you are not comfortable with disassembling the electronic gadgets do not open it so in the inside back side here you can see 3.7 volt 400 milliampere battery is given there in the both transmitter and receiver so if your battery dies after one or two years you can easily get the same battery from local market within 100 rupees in india so here you can see basically the circuit is there so and there is also the model number is you can see in the screen it is written there so i'm gonna post some seconds so that you can you know get idea how much background noise it is capturing and the video is basically blurring out because recently i have reset the camera so it is in the auto mode so just ignore that part and let's hear the background so yeah that's it so here you can see i am in the frame right now so i have the tape so i can measure how much distance i can cover but my terrace is not big so real testing i will test from outside and i will let you know in the video but right now let's see how much distance it is so here you can see i am facing towards the camera so yeah it is 5 meter so company claims 50 meter so i am 5 meter away so now i am 
turning back and let's see is it still capturing audio without it so i am back side i guess to see how much the audio is so again i am in the straight to the camera so yes in the terrace or in the room you can roam around very easily so now use headphone to hear the raw audio of sound recorded from this microphone this audio is being recorded with the noise cancellation is off in this wireless microphone so you can understand what is the audio quality and how much background noise it is capturing so i am now going to pause for 3 4 seconds so you can hear the background noise this audio is being recorded with green arrow s9 wireless mic with noise cancellation is activated so you can understand what will be the quality of the audio and i am going to pause for 3 4 seconds so that the background noise will capture and you can get a clear idea about this quality of this mic One, two, three. This time, I am using Green Arrow wireless mic to record with the USB Type C to three point five mm jack. I am recording with my desktop, so you can see how the audio quality is right now. The noise cancellation is enabled, so I am gonna pause some seconds so that the noise can capture and you can get a clear idea. This audio is being recorded. with the green arrow wireless microphone with eco mode is activated so you can understand how the eco mode works so for the quality purpose the audio basically the noise cancellation is working very good and apart from that the range is quite a bit good i have tested it around you know 50 to 60 meter it was working fine when the transmitter and receiver both are in the facing each other if you any obstacle comes then 50 meter will down to 30 meter so if you are you know recording you are going to see with the camera then there is no obstacle will be there so on that purpose 50 meter what is the company is claiming is perfect it works i have tested in the open road so noise cancellation is also good but zero noise you may will never get a zero noise but uh, comparing it the noise cancellation yes it works and without noise cancellation if you disable it there will be huge noise so yes everything is work so now battery backup 11 hours i am getting battery backup being on so that latency is very small but very little noticeable so for my opinion for new youtubers and mid range youtubers if you are not going to afford that 20 1000 rupees for the road mic road wireless mic i think this option will be the better one 2800 i will get one transmitter one receiver and around 3500 to 4000 will be the two transmitter one receiver the three that combo set so do let me know in the comment section what you think about this product and this is the same product available another one in digitex so i have opened that product you can see in the screen So nothing is there. It is a generic uh, Chinese device. So there is battery is there 400 milliampere each of the devices. So you can go to market and 50 to 100 rupees you can replace after one or two years when the battery will die. So you can repair you yourself and do not think about warranty because this is a Chinese one and no import details detail in the box. So you are not gonna get any kind of warranty. So that's all in this video. If you are going to buy this product, I will leave the best buy link in the description. You can definitely buy it from there. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and be safe.